this video is going to take you through the Brahma chicken problem in case we don't have time for it in class. Um, so I'm, this is a paper two sample question from, so it's a longer question from a, a previous year, it goes through all the processes. So starting out, we read this and you, you do just like you would with um, any other question. You, you want to make a drawing and put the mean on there. So the mean is 55, standard deviation is seven. So you know what you're gonna be putting in your calculator. Then they tell you uh, the different ranges of eggs. So small eggs are zero to 53, medium are 53, to 63, so this is medium. Large are 63 to 73, and then extra large are 73 or more. So when it says sketch a diagram, show clearly the boundaries as long as you label it some way um, on the x-axis. Remember that we use negative infinity here, not zero, and positive infinity here. So there's your one point for the curve with, you have the mean on it, one point for three lines in the correct position, one point for the labels on the three lines. So it says find the probability that the egg is medium. So if we go back to our picture, or the egg being medium is 53 to 63, so we're going to do norm CDF 53, 63. The mean was 55 and the standard deviation was 7. And the, find the probability that it was extra large. If you look back, extra large was 73 to infinity. So again, normal CDF 73 to infinity, or you just enter a big number 55. Seven. So there's a probability of 0.3 that a randomly chosen egg weighs more than W pounds. So that is an inverse norm question. They're telling us the probability. So if we put our mean on here, and W would be something out here, and that means the area right here is 0.3. So on your calculator, if you have a, a newer calculator, that does the left and the right and all that kind of stuff, your, your answer may be different on how you enter it. But I'm gonna show you for all calculators what would work. So you do inverse norm. And we know the probability, inverse norm, we need to do the probability to the left. So if there's 0.3 to the right, there is 0.7 to the left because everything adds up to one. So you'd actually enter 0.7. Now again, if you have the if you have the inverse norm that asks you to go right or left, you could do 0.3 and go to the right. And so the probability that Brahma chicken produces a large egg is 0.121. Frank's Brahma chicken produces 2,000. Calculate an estimate of the number. So this is an expected value when you're estimating the number. Well, you have 2,000 eggs. And the probability of a large size egg is 0.121 and multiply those together. So you can do those calculations, pause it, do those calculations. The probability that Brahma chicken produces a small size egg is 0.388. Estimate the monthly income by earn by selling the 2000 eggs. So these are the prices of the eggs, okay? And so the income is gonna be the price times the number of eggs. So if you look at, uh, we have 2000 eggs and the probability is 0.388. If you go back, they tell you the large eggs is 0.121. 
if you look back again, the medium eggs were 53 to 63, and that was the probability we already found. So the medium eggs, if you do normal CDF from 53 to 63, mean 55, standard deviation 7, that probability was 0.486. And then extra large eggs would be normal CDF. And the lower bound is 73. The upper bound is infinity. So 1E, 99, 55, and 7. And that is 0 0.00506. So that, that calculation is going to give you the eggs in each category. And so if you take that times the price, then you would get the income. Okay, so I'll let you multiply that out. But when you multiply these out, the number you get should add up to 2,000 because that's the whole breakdown. Um, when you add up all those probabilities, you get a probability of 1. For all the eggs. Notice there's a little bit of a squeeze in here. It says give your answer correct to two decimal places. So an egg is chosen at random. Find the probability the egg is medium. Oh, we already did that. Extra large, we already did that. So there's a probability of 0.3 that a randomly chosen egg weighs more than W grams. That's a question we already answered. We kind of jumped ahead with that table. So here's your different answers. You want to check it. And then when you look at multiplying, this is what this number is. I didn't want to just show you the answer and have you understand where it's from. So these are the first two numbers being multiplied tell you how many eggs or tell me tell you the price per egg. And then you multiply that by the probability. I probably wouldn't multiply it in that order. I put it probably would have multiplied the dollars and cents. But when you added up all those things in your table, you get 884.20. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like as, as the whole program builds. You're looking for starting with a good picture, and especially when you have an inverse normal question, um, making sure you shade in the right direction. So one like this, inverse norm is going to tell you a value down here when you know the probability. So put your numbers in your picture.